Dispatches from Ukraine. Tuesday, September 13, Day 202. As Russia's attack on Ukraine continues and the war rages on, reliable sources of information are critical. Forbes gathers information and provides updates on the situation. By Polina Raskosova Over the past week, as part of its successful ongoing counter-offensive, the armed forces of Ukraine liberated 300 settlements in the Kharkiv region. According to Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malyar, nearly 1, 500 square miles of territory have been taken back from Russian forces since September 6 and about 150, 000 Ukrainians were liberated from occupation. Despite being routed from Ukraine's northeast regions, Russian troops continue their tactics of terror and intimidation, firing missiles at civilian populations and critical infrastructure, reports the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Nearly 50 municipal officials in Russian cities have now signed a petition demanding that Russian President Vladimir Putin resign in the face of heavy losses Russia's military has suffered in its invasion of Ukraine. The officials, municipal deputies of several Russian cities, feel the fallout from Putin's decision to invade Ukraine has put Russia and its people in danger. Last week a number of municipal deputies called on the State Duma of the Russian Federation to bring charges of treason against Putin. Those officials were subsequently charged with discrediting the Russian army, according to a tweet by Municipal Deputy Nikita Yufarev, one of those who signed the petition. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky is mulling the details of security guarantees that would ostensibly ensure safety for Ukraine and hold Russia's feet to the fire to compensate for its violent invasion of its neighboring country. The security recommendations contain a proposal to create the Kyiv Security Compact, a strategic partnership document that seeks to unite Ukraine and guarantee states.